What makes the Bible the most reliable guide of life? This manual of the Bible contains spiritual seeds that it produces in the life of whosoever believes. The words here are spiritual seeds, like corn, like wheat. Jesus said the parable is this, the seed is the word of God. Any word you receive in the good ground of your heart, honest heart, <laughs> not make them see me kind. Any seed of the word that you receive in your good and honest heart is bound to reproduce after its kind. Bound to reproduce after its kind. Luke 8, 11. And verse 1 says, <laughs> it will bring forth With patience, with patience, because it's the incorruptible seed that what means indestructible. Any seed of the world you receive and sow into your good and honest heart is bound to reproduce. I receive the word on church growth. It's bound to reproduce. I ran 16 seminars back to back. Church grew to 70, to 90, sorry. It's bound to produce. Yes, it does that in faces. But it's bound to produce. By the following year, we hit 500. It's bound to produce. Yes, sir. The year that follow, we cross 1,000. It's bound to produce. And now we have an average of 1,000 people registered for membership in this church every Sunday. Yes, awesome. It's bound to produce. Yes, it is our hit and run mentality that has granted us. I think I've tried. Who told you? No. You can't write an exam and mark it. <laughs> you are busy marking your exam and giving yourself pass mark. That's your cup of tea. You wrote the exam, you now wrote your result. You send it to yourself. You know, there are so many devices now. Your result, A++. And then if you finish marking it, say, F, F, F. <laughs> F to the third power. <laughs> Stop marking your scripts. It's illegal. <laughs> it's abuse. Eh? That's abuse. Stop marking your scripts. I've done all I should do. All right. So God is now lying. No, no. What lack I yet? Only me pass it. Move pass. What lack I yet? They sit down. Get books on this subject. Don't read on your bed. Where you put on your something, you put a on. <laughs> sit down on the desk. Carry your note to a student. And sleep. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> That's the way to go. Some young person from Uniben came to me that was leaving the campus. God has called her to ministry. I said, no problem. Get this book, Understanding Vision. He got to page 20. He says, I understand it now. <laughs> page 20 of that book. Yeah, same one which I would like a destiny forever. 
read this thing. I said, I'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> he came and said, I've seen it. Page 20, I'm going back to school. I told them to bring the books on divine direction because you have never read it. <laughs> You're bitter about the bush for nothing. God, you miss it, you miss it. You don't use age to pass exam. Your son can beat you. The same exam. <laughs> you read, I can't take an exam. Your son has passed. There's your only main three. <laughs> You go again the following year. Your second child has passed. They say, Papa, what is wrong with you? <laughs> they don't use age to pass exam. Yeah. 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 They don't use age to pass exams. They don't use experience to pass exams. I've been going about in planes for years, commercial, uh, chartered, uh, private. I can't turn anything in the plane. The young people are playing it have been in the ministry where they were born. But they know it. I said they know it. Yes. If they say they are not friends, I say, what do you mean? You won't go anywhere. <laughs> You'll be on the ground here. Because they know it. So most of the things, particularly in Africa, we overglorify age. You see, I've been a Christian for the past how many years old? <laughs> I say you don't know this and you are very Christian. It's not you. I know you're a Christian. I say you know, say my people are destroyed. That is Christian. For lack of knowledge. I will stop anytime and then we we'll go home. Praise God. You read the remaining in books. Kenneth Higgins has many books on divine direction. I have a few that may be a blessing to you. Over to you.